Hi everyone, if you've just come from my review of Boeing 737, the world's jetliner, welcome aboard. Or if you're just hopping on to see what on, what on earth am I doing with four model 737s, also welcome aboard. Let me take you through a tour of uh, my four miniature Boeing 737s. This big one closest to the camera is a Virgin Blue 737. Once upon a time it was known as Baby Blue and this was bought into Australian skies around 2005. It was leased for about four years before moving back to other European operators and it is now flying with Air Europa. Virgin Airways changed their livery. It no longer has this uh, wonderfully different red and blue look. It is now just a simple white plane with red Virgin on the tail. And even then, its future continues to hang in the balance thanks to the current pandemic and general downturn in aviation. Right behind it, over here, I will bring closer to you, is the Qantas Boeing 737-800 Bunbury VHZ VZE. Now you're wondering, what on earth is the zoo doing on this? This is simply a uh, promotional gimmick. Uh, one of our, one of the Australian main telephone carriers, Optus, for many, many years ran an advertising campaign themed around a zoo of talking animals that celebrated internet co connectivity, the various internet plans, phone plans, whatever. Anyway, uh, the Bunbury is still flying with Qantas, which has just recently celebrated its 100th anniversary and has been with the fleet for about 12 years. Stay. Alrighty, moving on to Helios Airways. This is the Olympia, a Boeing 737-300. Uh, this is a tragic plane and unfortunately on the 14th of August 2005 it crashed just outside Athens with the loss of all 121 people. It is featured on season, in season four of air crash investigations, or depending on the country um, where it airs, it's also known as May Day. Uh, basically, loss of cabin pressure knocked out everyone on the plane, except for one flight attendant who tried valiantly to bring the plane into the airport. And it crashed just outside the airport. Uh, the loss of cabin pressure was a weird, freak, one-off event, which involved a switch although there was one other time where it did happen and the crew were able to identify the problem, different airline, and uh, bring the plane to safety. So, setting aside Helios, but still within the Mediterranean, we come across to the Apollo, one of the originals of the Boeing 737. This is a Boeing 737-200 from Olympic Airways, once upon a time, the national carrier of Greece. And this airplane, to some degree, still exists. It sits outside the remains of the old Athens Hellenikon airport, and it is simply left outside to rust and fade with the sun. It is engineless and was part of a museum dedicated to Olympic Airways, but that failed, and it's now, together with the airport, just sitting, decaying and you can find photos of this uh, online, it's quite easy. Even tour buses, when they go past the highway and you see the old remains of the airport, you can see this and other Olympic planes uh, rusting away in the distance. So that's a brief look at my Boeing 737 collection. We've uh, ended up with uh, quite a mix, from the originals through to the classic series, and then two of the 800s. Alright, I hope you enjoyed those models, and in case you're wondering about the shirt, no, there is no Air Tripoli. I got this out of a surfer's store about seven or eight years ago. No, I don't do surfing. But the idea that there was a caravel on the shirt attracted me to it. What is interesting though is, is that the font that the artist decided to use for Air Tripoli is also quite similar to the 1970s font used for Libyan Airlines. And Tripoli is the capital of Libyan Airlines, so I suspect that the artist may have had some inspiration from that airline. And, but it's also an interesting quirk, is that yes, they also flew the Caravelle as well.
whether it's all just pure coincidence or whether the artist really did uh, get inspired from, an, from a Libyan Airlines caravel, I don't know. Either way, it makes for a cool shirt. I hope you all enjoyed the models and I wish you all happy reading.